Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 12 of John chapter 8. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I am testifying about myself, my testimony is true, because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I am not judging anyone. But even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone in it, but I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law it has been written that the testimony of two people is true. I am he who testifies about myself, and the Father who sent me testifies about me. So they were saying to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. These words he spoke in the treasury, as he taught in the temple area, and no one arrested him, because his hour had not yet come. Then he said again to them, I am going away, and you will look for me, and will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews were saying, Surely he will not kill himself, will he? Since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come. And he was saying to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Therefore I said to you, that you will die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Then they were saying to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What have I even been saying to you from the beginning? I have many things to say and to judge regarding you. But he who sent me is true, and the things which I heard from him, these I say to the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am, and I do nothing on my own. But I say these things as the Father instructed me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he said these things, many came to believe in him. So Jesus was saying to those Jews who had believed him, If you continue in my word, then you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. As we heard in today's scripture passage, the Pharisees rejected Jesus, even though he was speaking truth, but others listened and believed. To them, the Lord said, If you continue in my word, then you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Many people, however, thought he was offering freedom from Roman political oppression or even from all the troubles of this life. But that's not what Jesus meant at all. He was offering freedom from the dominance of sin. Once we believe the truth of the gospel and turn to Jesus for salvation, we're set free from the penalty of sin, which is eternal condemnation. And God's truth also sets us free from the power of sin right now. Even though we'll continue to struggle with temptation after we're saved, we have within us Christ's divine strength to resist and overcome it. Do you feel stuck in sinful patterns and desires? As Jesus said, continuing to follow God's word is the key to true freedom. Fill your mind with his truth and obey it, and sin will lose its power over you today and every day until you're free for all eternity in heaven. <music> 